Hello, nice to see you again. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. In front of me is the military truck. It is HGP802. And as you see, I put one crane to it. Originally, it was one, only one platform like this. Put screw to secure on the frame. And I take this out. I put one. This crane is HGP803. It's uh, I choose for upgrades. We will run it to see how this one working. Okay, let's put the platform away. These are some tools. Screws for changing the platform and the crane. Okay, already start and uh, I have I will show you the details later. This is for running, running. Very fast. We have one, three, four, and done. <laughs> and this is low speed gear. So this truck got two speed. And we haven't assembled light and sound system yet, but it can be upgraded. If you want light system, sound system, we can assemble also. And for this one, the chassis, we got no differential lock, so it is only differential running. I put down USC so we can, can turn. Downside on the table secured, we cannot turn, but this side is turning freely. So you see from the chassis, the axles, this connecting rod, everything from the chassis, it is made of metal. Metal axle, metal connecting rod, this metal CVD drive shaft, and uh, this transfer case, which you see this one for the changing speed, low speed, high speed, the servo is here. Okay. And uh, from the rear side, you see this axles here and the suspension. Remove it a little. It is connected in the middle, goes to the plate. Here, got the connecting rod, so to balance it and uh, to share the weight. Okay, we will turn it around. This battery power connections, so the battery chamber is there. We can see from top. The pit is the, the wheels. The hub is made of plastic, not metal. From the rear side, you see the battery chamber is inside. A little strange is it's a little hard to put battery. If your battery is a little bit big, you can adjust in the angle by removing the, this rear. The bumper here, the connecting bar here can be removed to put the battery. And then you can charge in directly the charging line connecting the power from one side directly. Okay. Here we got this fifth seat. You, you can operate to put some failure here. Here we can close it, it's controlled by servo. Close, so secure the trailer. Open. Okay, so we will see a little more with the crane. This crane, we will move it. Go down, go up. This is a very small motor driven with the screw inside. So it's not hydraulic, it is motor and screw. Okay, this is the angle and there's these wires, we can let it down. It's up, now it's going down. Also, this arm, one, two, three arm, can go out. Okay, let's take it back. This is a very small motor, as you see here. Here's the motor. So, not much power, half kilo, one kilo. Maybe you can put something to hook up. Uh, one thing I have to mention for this one, for safety, when our 
colleague assembled it used a very small slow motor inside. But it is very slow when it's going outside, very very slow, it's a PP. But uh, we can change to a bigger motor to put inside so it can go out more quickly. This is what is a shame for this one. But can be changed, can be upgraded. Okay. Let's turn it around. When you hook up something, you can turn it around to put maybe get more higher and this one lift up, you can put somewhere on your trailer or something. Okay. We will put this arm down. Put it down. Okay, so now we leave it. We will see the truck. From here we go to the door. Can be opened, you can see inside. The stickers need to change new already dried a little bit. This is for for showing our customers. Okay, both door can be opened so you can see inside of the cabin. On top here we got one spare tire. So also can be changed for real use. This is all for that. So, in order to make it more fun and to play it, we could upgrade with sound system, light system. So you can drive this one off road in the wild, some rock forest. It will be very interesting. Thank you very much. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Next time I'll bring more, bring more models to show you. Thank you. Bye.